Ever since the region of Catalonia unanimously declared independence and voting confirmed this, Madrid has been extraordinarily hesitant and hostile towards the region. Catalonia will be independent. People have wanted this for a long time, centuries even. And with the referendum confirming what the Catalonian people have been proclaiming to the world is true. There are four simple reasons why the Spanish government will do all that it possibly can to keep the region under control until the one day it does leave the country, either peacefully or by violence. All reasons connect to one another, and it is very tragic and mundane at the same time. 4. International Reputation Though Portugal and Spain were the first European colonial powers, their empires were the first to collapse. Turkey was called the sick man of Europe during the First World War, and in the early 2000s with the economic crisis, Greece has also been labeled a sick man of Europe. But the first claims of such actually were labeled on Spain. When Napoleon occupied Spain, its American colonies revolted and declared independence in the 1800s. It was seen as an extraordinary disaster in terms of international reputation, and its voice in European affairs was lost until the mid to late 20th century. Some have said that if an actual region of Spain were to break away, the country would once again be extraordinarily unstable, and its reputation will be destroyed internationally once more. 3. Regional Reputation Besides internationally, regionally, Catalonia has historically been its own region, or having more autonomy than it currently does. In some form or another, it's been basically independent for over 500 years. Spaniards would say that this was the time when it was incorporated into Spain during the neighboring Kingdom of Castile was consolidating the minor kingdoms within the Iberian Peninsula itself into the country now known internationally as Spain. Other regions were against this annexation at the time and greater incorporation of the concept, but Catalonia was among those most vocal and strongest against resisting. Catalonian republics have also existed throughout history and have been in existence for varying amounts of time before being reincorporated into the reigning kingdom or republic. 2. Ethnic Disputes Catalonia has also been historically different than the rest of the regions of modern Spain because of its location to France, which shares its northern border, and Catalonia does have its own unique culture. Though the last time Catalonia was truly independent was around the early 1700s, with the incorporation into the modern Spanish state, many at the time within the Catalonian territory refused to acknowledge this and secretly spoke the Catalonian language within their own homes and practiced their own traditions when Spain forced them to speak the variant of Spanish that is now known internationally as European Spanish and aspects of culture that is now considered Spaniard. The language itself and aspects of the culture survive along the entire coast, not just within Catalonia itself. Owing to the legacy of a once strong and vibrant kingdom, even though the kingdom itself has been gone for hundreds of years, its identity still remains. 1. Economic Prosperity It has been theorized and estimated that Catalonia is one of the richest, if not the richest, region of Spain. And a modern reason why the region desires to break away from the rest of the modern Spanish state. When the 2017 vote for independence was cast, Madrid had a population of roughly 3,100,000. Barcelona, the biggest city in Catalonia, and easily the new capital of a possible Catalonian republic or kingdom, was around 1,600,000. It is estimated that Spain will lose millions of euros of possible income and revenue from Catalonia. The initial impact will be devastating. It's theorized that if or when, depending on who you ask, Catalonia declares independence, Catalonia itself will rebound quicker than the rest of Spain. Because of the region is smaller and the economy 
is economically stronger and viable than the rest of Spain, arguably. On a final bit of discussion, it's also interesting to notice that most other countries in Europe did not recognize the Catalonian Independence Proclamation. Why? Because Europe is a far more diverse region than the modern world gives it credit for. During the imperialist era of the 17 and 1800s, many powerful and large countries and kingdoms absorbed smaller and weaker ones within themselves. As a result, the modern map of Europe is actually simplified, and most Euro nations have their own bids of independence or separatism from smaller regions within. Catalonia is sadly one of the few that's strong enough to actually resist and try to reclaim its own independence. If other Euro nations recognized the proclamation, they'd be endorsing or encouraging other separatist movements all over Europe, which they won't want to do, because governments don't want to lose their own power over people, resources, or territory. What do you think of the modern concept of Catalonian independence and its history and situation with Spain?